Each year in the United States, wildfire destroys thousands of homes. Priceless heirlooms, photographs, your child's first pair of shoes, they can all be gone in a matter of minutes. Red Rock Wildland Fire System would like to demonstrate why that doesn't need to happen to you. Uh, it was the first day of school. So the kids were just going to school. It was a day we had just got back from my seven-year-old son's football practice. And um, we had some errands to run that night. And thank God we had those errands to run because it wasn't but 20 minutes after we left our house that the fire swept up and, and consumed the houses around ours, including ours, and including one of our neighbors that died in the fire. In this fire that we experienced, there was 10 homes that were wiped out completely to the ground. There were many others that had severe fire damage to them, and there were many, many others that had severe smoke damage to them. So this one fire consumed or impacted probably a hundred homes. The moment I could see through the smoke and see our house is the moment that the fire hit our house and caught our house on fire, and our house was completely engulfed within five minutes. It was, it was such a short amount of time that once the fire hit the house, it was gone. The protection purposes of the dwellings, the number one priority is dwellings, people's homes, people's property, but the people themselves, making sure they're out, that they're safe, and that they can escape the approaching flames. Uh, the second priority, of course, is their property, trying to protect that. Uh, that's primarily the function of the local fire department. Uh, many of the federal departments, the BLM and the Forest Service, have shifted their uh, attack modes, if you will, in recent years to protecting the forest, their original mission. Uh, they cannot be diverted from that so much by protecting structures. So as more structures are built in that wildland urban interface zone, uh, it creates a greater hazard and, and the fire trucks that belong to the feds are going to have to pull off and usually protect the forest resources rather than the homes. That puts a much greater demand on local resources remote communities are going to have fewer resources. They're going to probably rely primarily on volunteer fire departments and the, the resources that they have is, is pretty much based on the tax base or the uh, participants that they have in the community to pay to that to support that resource. The wildland system, a, a protection system for your home that that's, uh, doesn't isn't very human intensive, that would work on its own, is a very valuable tool from the standpoint that it reduces the risk to the person. Uh, they don't have to be out into exposing themselves to flames and embers uh, and advancing fire front and it would, it would certainly apply the water in a pre-designed area to protect the structures. Red Rock Wildland Fire Systems has produced a state-of-the-art wildfire protection system. All Red Rock Wildland Fire Systems function with completely standalone operating capabilities. With cell phone, internet, and satellite activation options, the in-ground installed system has an easy and reliable start no matter where you are. The Red Rock Home Protection System draws from a 3,000 gallon underground fiberglass tank installed underneath the unit's interface. The installed system is equipped with 100 feet of an inch and a half canvas fire hose with a special performance foaming nozzle. The hose runs with 95 pounds per square inch covering 50 to 100 gallons per minute depending on nozzle setting. The automated system runs programmed protective zones equipped with the placement of up to eight cannons, two per zone, around the property and the roof of the structure for complete program coverage. Two cannons operating at the same time or off of one zone is powered with 85 pounds per square inch, laying 45 gallons per minute. One cannon on the roof, acting as one zone, runs at 95 pounds per square inch and lays down 60 gallons per minute. The automatic system can run non-stop for one hour and 15 minutes. However, when on time zones can run for up to 24 hours. With these resources in place, your system is comparable to having four fire trucks protecting your home and property at all times. Our portable fire prevention systems provide you with the maximum mobility and maximum flexibility when using your system where and when you need it most. With two systems to choose from, our trailer mounted or truck bed installed models allow you to choose what best fits your needs and applications. The trailer is equipped with 1,000 gallons of water in FDA approved and tested tanks. With standard vehicle width and a custom designed low profile, the trailer pulls easily behind many trucks. The customized professional installation and triage combined with an environmentally friendly foam system will maximize the protection of any location, creating a safe zone for a home, a business, or even an entire community. 
All of the technology integrated into the design of this system is compatible with currently approved and accepted wildland firefighting technology, and the design is capable of aiding wildland firefighters in emergency wildland fire situations or operating as a self-contained home protection system for both your interior and exterior. Red Rock Wildland Fire Systems is the most state-of-the-art protection system on the market. Call today. Well, we had uh, been out to dinner that night and uh, had run a few errands. We could see in the distance smoke and uh, made me a little nervous. You know, you never want to see smoke coming from your neighborhood. The fire was actually in the field below us in the sagebrush and uh, in the power lines. And so we came home and well, we didn't quite get home. We came, pulled up and the smoke was really heavy as we pulled up to the street and it was so heavy that I almost hit the, hit the fire engine in front of me. That was five feet in front of her. When I ran from her car, um, the heat was so hot that my arm hairs actually were, were singed as I was running and um, I had stuff that had uh, landed um, close to my close to me and actually had burned a little of my hair as I'm running, trying to get to my house. And I get in my house and I um, just start putting stuff in the car as fast as I possibly could. I was, um, I was almost, I don't want to say hysterical, but I was, I was kind of in shock because I'm just throwing so much in there. All of a sudden I get a knock at the door, a policeman opens the door and says, you've got about two minutes to get uh, out because your roof's on fire. Right. I would realistic, realistically, I probably had three to four minutes. I get in the, 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 the house and I just start, I basically was just following orders and got the, uh, what <laughs> she wanted to grab. And then I, you know, kind of grabbed whatever else I thought I needed, which was our computers. A lot of homes that aren't defensible now are getting classified into an uh, area of expertise or area of uh, uh, hazard called the red zone. And the red zone is one where the fire department pretty much is admitted, we, we're not gonna save anything that's in this area because it's so, uh, so poorly defensible. You never think fire's gonna happen to you. It's not something that you think is really possible. But I'm one that it's happened to, and it's devastating. It's devastating in the time it happens. It's devastating in the, in the weeks, the days, the months, and the years that follow. I had a plan. I couldn't implement it. I had my cell phone. I was calling my wife to come get my son for me. I couldn't go implement my plan. If my cell phone could have been used to do something else to implement a plan, that would have been a, a huge step in trying to save my property. Yeah. You know what's the most interesting thing is when you dream in your old house and then you wake up in a new house or like you go to find something that you're convinced you've lost but you're like, oh, that's gone. Yeah. We don't have that anymore. Um, so we feel like that we're on living a parallel life. You know, everything that we had planned to do before is different um, from where we were going to live in five years to what we were going to do the next week or the next hour. and. Now our life is on a completely different path and those two paths won't ever intersect. So finding a new normal has taken a lot longer than we thought because it's not a matter of getting back to normal, it's a matter of finding it. During the time it took to watch this video, your home was engulfed in flames. How many of your priceless possessions would you have been able to save?